What's up guys? So today I've got my hands on the brand new Tick Watch Pro 5. This is the most powerful smartwatch from Mob Voice so far. It's powered by the Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1 chipset, which is a quad core clocked at 1.7 GHz. And it also features a secondary Cortex M55 coprocessor. You can expect two times better performance than the previous Snapdragon 4100, 50% better power efficiency. This smartwatch is absolutely jam packed with some impressive features. And the new Snapdragon chip is 30% smaller in size. So we're talking about the most powerful smartwatch chipset currently available, built in and designed for next gen wearables. So TickWatch Pro 5 is one of the first smartwatches in the EU to feature this chipset. Now let's start off with the design. The watch case itself is made from aluminium and super tough nylon with fiberglass. The bezels are made from low carbon steel and you do have Gorilla Glass protection on the front with an anti fingerprint cover. On the right, we have two buttons, a power slash side button and a rotating crown button used for scrolling and navigation. Also, this is the first time we have seen a rotating crown on a tick watch. And when you do rotate that button, you do feel uh, some light haptic feedback. So it does feel quite nice. Now, just under that button, you can see a single microphone. On the other side, we have nothing, but just slightly underneath, you can see a loudspeaker. And at the bottom, we have our health sensors, which include heart rate, SpO2, and temperature sensor. And on the side over here, you can see our charger pins. And I'll quickly show you the charger in action. So we have a magnetic USB charger, which just clips on the side like so. And this watch does support fast charging. So 30 minute charge will get you from zero to 65%, which is pretty fast. Furthermore, this watch is 5 ATM water resistant and offers military standard 810H durability. The display is absolutely gorgeous. We have a 1.43 inch AMOLED display featuring Mobvoi's trademark dual display technology. So on top of that beautiful AMOLED screen, you also have a new upgraded ULP display, which stands for ultra low power display which shows you more info via ULP tiles, giving you quick measurements of health metrics without accessing the full AMOLED display. So you can see we've got the time, we've got the date at the top, you've even got the day on the left, you've got step counter and constant heart rate monitoring. If you just scroll in a clockwise direction, you can access more features. So you can check your heart rate, you can check your calories, you can check your SpO2 blood oxygen and even your skin temperature. So all of those health metrics can be tested without accessing the full AMOLED display. And when the backlight times out, you can still see we have that always on display active. So you just flick your wrist up and it will switch on the backlight. But if you need full Android, you can just tap the screen and then that full AMOLED display will light up for you. So really nicely implemented. Love the enhanced functionality of this ULP display. And to my surprise, the ULP display is not just one blue colored backlit display. So it actually supports 18 different backlit colors, which you can choose from. And you also have a feature called dynamic heart rate backlight. So when you're working out through the tick exercise app, you will get color coded backlights for the ultra low power display to indicate your current exercise heart rate zone. Not only that, you can also select how you want to use your always on display. You can have the ultra low power display, the one I just showed you, and that is the default setting, or you can have a completely AMOLED always on display. So I'll show you how that works. So that is basically an AMOLED always on display. Tap the screen or flick your wrist to get back into full AMOLED mode. But of course, if you set always on screen to be AMOLED only, then the battery is going to consume much faster. So I would leave it on the default ultra low power display. And when you're working out, it can actually change the backlit color automatically to correspond with the six heart rate zones, ranging from resting, warm up, cardio, and it will keep going as your workout gets more intense. So you can see at a glance how well your workout is going just by seeing the color of that second ULP display. So it's quite amazing how Mobvoi has achieved this, giving us so much more functionality with that second ultra low power display. Now watch dimensions. It's 50.1 millimeters in diameter with a thickness of 12.2 millimeters and it weighs 63.6 grams. Now, just to give you guys an idea of the size of this smartwatch, I will bring in the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. 
And here they are, side by side, GW5 versus TicWatch Pro 5. The GW5 is 43.3 millimeters in diameter with a thickness of 9.8 millimeters and it weighs 54.7 grams. Now I will also bring in the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. So here are the two big dogs side by side. Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is 45.4 millimeters in diameter with a thickness of 13 millimeters. So the GW5 Pro is actually slightly thicker than the Tick Watch Pro, but the Tick Watch Pro is slightly bigger in diameter thanks to the slightly larger display. And in case you're wondering, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro weighs 67.4 grams. Now, as mentioned, this smartwatch is powered by the Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1 with 2 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. There is also Bluetooth 5.2, built-in multi-satellite GPS. You've got 2 gigahertz Wi-Fi and this supports NFC payments via Google Pay. And this smartwatch is, of course, running official Wear OS by Google version 3.5. Now, the battery size has been upgraded considerably. We have 628 milliamp hour battery built in, making this the largest battery we have ever seen in a Google Wear OS smartwatch. So really good move by Mobvoi. Now I did also test the battery life. I've been wearing this watch as my daily driver for over a week now. So the TicWatch Pro 5 managed to give me six whole days of battery life. And on the sixth day, it lasted till 6.30 p.m. with 1% battery left and then it died shortly. So the battery consumption was around 20% every 24 hours, which was actually quite amazing. It was pretty light to medium use. So lots of walking throughout the day, 24 hour heart rate monitoring is on by default. So it checks your heart rate every 10 minutes. 24 hour blood oxygen monitoring is also on by default and it checks your SpO2 every hour. You can switch all of those 24 hour monitorings off and that will certainly increase your battery life to maybe more than double. Now, one major power saving feature is the upgraded essential mode. Now in this mode, you get that same ultra low power display. AMOLED screen is totally switched off. So if you try and tap, AMOLED is not gonna become active. Essential mode is just the ULP display. The smartwatch can still monitor all your vitals like step counter, continuous heart rate and SpO2 monitoring along with your calories. It can also continue to track your sleep now, in essential mode, all apps, Play Store, phone calls, notifications, all other smart features are disabled. Now, what's really interesting is the fact that this smartwatch will automatically switch to essential mode every night whilst you're sleeping. And when you wake up, it will switch back to full Wear OS um, AMOLED display mode. Also, if you take the watch off and you leave it unattended for over 30 minutes, essential mode will activate itself. So again, saving you heaps of battery life. Quickly show you how this watch looks on my wrist. So this is a big screen smartwatch. Um, it's quite light. It doesn't feel too heavy on the wrist. And in case you're wondering, I have a wrist circumference of seven inches and this watch actually feels very comfortable thanks to the build quality and also how light the smartwatch is. So even though it's a big screen watch, um, I've been okay wearing this for over a week. It's been quite comfy on my wrist. Now let's talk about sleep tracking. This watch can track your sleep automatically. You can also set your own sleep schedule if you want. And doing so will just give you more enhanced reports of whether you went to sleep on time and it will give you advice and tips on how to improve your sleep. This watch can also record naps at any time of the day. So as long as it's more than one hour of sleep, it will get recorded. Sleep tracking is very accurate. It's very informative. It can track multiple sleep records so if you go to sleep at 10 and you wake up in between and then you go back to sleep, the watch knows it will record it. It's a very smart, very accurate sleep tracking. You can tap on the sleep record to view the full report. You can see my sleep duration from last night was only six hours, 14 minutes. I went to sleep just before 11 o'clock and I woke up 5.13 a.m. You can see my sleep stages, how long I was awake for, and how long I was deep sleeping. So my deep sleep was actually not bad, one hour, 50 minutes, that's pretty good. You can see my heart rate consistent all the way throughout the night. You can see my maximum and minimum, and you've got an average as well. Now blood oxygen also gets monitored whilst you're sleeping. Um, the average was 98% normal for me, maximum was 100, minimum was 96. Sleep respiratory rate, I haven't actually got that switched on. Um, to switch it on, you just hit settings. 
Skin temperature is another feature I have not activated. If you want to activate them, you just go to settings and by default they are off anyway. You can switch on the sleep respiratory rate on over here. And you can also switch on the temperature monitoring over here. Um, by default, they are both off. So I just left them off. Those that need it can activate it. But as it is, sleep tracking is amazing. I've always said that the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 has the best sleep tracking of any smartwatch in this world. The absolute best. The way they portray it, the way the information is laid out and how accurate it is. I can safely confirm to you guys that the TicWatch Pro 5 is just as good as the Galaxy Watch 5 for sleep tracking. So they're really up their game. Sleep tracking is beautiful on this watch. I just want to quickly walk through the smartphone app. It's called Mobvoi Health. So when you open up the app, it will automatically sync all the data to and from the watch. It will give you your complete health stats, your activity, exercise, sleep, heart rate, SpO2, and so on and so forth. You can see detailed reports by just tapping. And it will give you weekly and monthly reports on your step counter. And you can swipe through each day to see how well you did. That's the same with any of these metrics. You can have a look at sleep records as well. You can swipe again to see your previous days of sleep. Um, my average is about four hours. I got lucky on Thursday. I slept for eight hours, 19 minutes. That is rare. Um, you can see deep sleep, one hour, 58 minutes. Average heart rate, blood oxygen, data insight, telling you um, the difference between yesterday, shows you your wake up time. So all of the health metrics can be viewed from the smartphone app, or you can view it directly on the watch as I showed you earlier. Now if we tap on device, you have some settings for the watch. First of all, you've got watch faces, you can hit edit and you can edit the complications. So the watch face I've chosen to show you is called color run. And what's incredible about this watch face, if I zoom in, is the sheer amount of uh, complications. You can see heart rate, distance, calories. You've got information on sunrise, sunset, battery, SpO2, step counter, barometer. You've got the day, time, date, AM, PM. So this is just one of the new watch faces that TicWatch have provided. Absolutely amazing amount of complications there. Uh, and you can edit some of the complications. You can pretty much choose any color that you can see. Hit save and you can see it immediately changes. Many watch faces can be customized. And I like how quick it is to change the watch face. So if I hit apply, watch face changed. Here's another new watch face. It's called dynamic number. So an animated number, depending on what hour you're going on. Um, you've got happy rotation. Many new exciting watch faces included uh, with plenty of editing and customization options. More about the watch faces a little bit later in the video. Now tiles are basically your health tiles. When you swipe left or right, you'll see a whole bunch of tiles. These tiles can be edited and customized from here. You're allowed 10 tiles altogether. You can see I've got nine of 10 active. You can change the order around. So I think tick health should be first. You've got tick pulse. So you can move things around freely as required. You can also customize things on the watch. I'll show you that later. Now these at the bottom here are not active, but you can activate them just by, just by tapping on them. So you can see I just activated Google Maps. Really nice, easy to customize system. Those are the tiles. We've got sync watch screenshots. You've got quick control and you've got the main system settings. If I tap on that and over here, you have a whole bunch of system settings that you can tweak and play around with. I do want to quickly show you that you can integrate with third party apps. So you've got Google Fit and you've got Strava that you can play with. I haven't bothered with either at the moment. So that is pretty much the smartphone app, Mobvoi Health app. Um, it's only for Android. This watch does not work on iOS. This is an Android only watch. It's of course running Google Wear OS, which is not designed for iPhone. Now, let me give you an example of what happens if someone calls you. Um, you can take that phone call directly on the watch. So you can see the phone call has appeared on both the phone and the watch. I can tap to answer. And there you go. Now, this is a quick mic test to show you what the loudspeaker is like on the smartwatch. So if you were to take a phone call, this is what it will sound like. Right, so now closer look at the watch faces. To change your watch face directly from the watch, you keep the center press. You will see the screen zoom out and then you can just simply swipe and choose any watch face you like. I'm going to choose the new sleep coach watch face just to show you. So this new watch face is designed for people that want to track their sleep. It will give you at a glance sleep records along with the time and date. Um, this is the sleep coach watch face. 
and you've got a whole library of different watch faces that you can immediately change to. These watch faces are all built in. You don't even have to download them, which is great. If you wanted to download more watch faces, the option is there. You have the Play Store giving you access to hundreds, if not thousands of different watch faces ready to download. Now, some of the newer watch faces can be edited and a pen appears at the bottom. You can edit and customize those complications from the smartphone app. You can also do it directly on the watch. So they made the watch software very user friendly that you don't even have to refer to the smartphone app for customizations. Everything can be done from the watch. So now I'm just going to share with you a whole bunch of cool default watch faces that you get with this watch. I'll just share some of my favorites with you. Let's take a closer look at the watch features. If you swipe down from the top, you've got a whole bunch of quick toggles that you can play with. So you've got Wi-Fi, brightness, aeroplane mode, and lots, lots more. If you swipe up from the bottom, you will see your notifications, your emails, messages, social media, WhatsApp, etc. And most notifications can be replied directly on the watch. So for example, we've got a Twitter post over here. If I click on it, you've got the option to retweet and like, and you've got the option to reply. So you can use emojis, you can use voice, or you can actually open up a full QWERTY keyboard. And I'll quickly show you what it's like to type on this. So if I just type in, hi, good morning. So you've got autocorrect at the top as well. You can see I typed that without any mistakes. So the keyboard is actually really good, very comfortable to type on. If I go back, I just want to quickly show you, hi, good morning, how are you? And then you can just hit send if you want. And finally, emojis, you can choose any emoji as a reply. Going back, you can see that even photos do appear with notifications when you open them up. So notifications do look really good. So Max Tech has just dropped a YouTube video. You can see it even shows me the thumbnail of the video. If I hit play, the video is going to play on my smartphone. So notifications, very nicely done. I really like how they look and work. Now going back, if we swipe towards the left or the right, you've got your health tiles. So starting off with your tick health, so all your health at a glance, you can tap it for more detailed reports. Swipe left, you've got heart rate monitoring, then we've got SBO2 monitoring, you've got local weather, you've got your calendar or agenda, you've got timers, tick exercise, and I believe there are over a hundred workouts built in. So you are absolutely spoiled for choice uh, with the built-in workouts. And if we swipe again, you've got YouTube Music and then you've got Google Maps, which we added earlier in the video. YouTube Music, I'll show you how that works. You can even access your library or playlist that you may have made. So I've got my own playlist going on. If I hit play, so that music can be played directly on earbuds. So when I hit play, it will ask me to pair a new device and then I can actually pair up uh, with any earbuds or speakers and the music can be played directly on those on the go. And it even gives you the name of the track, the artist, and you've got volume control. And you can see I'm using the crown for many different functions. Uh, you can use the touch screen as well, but the crown is just so much more convenient. Now you can actually customize the health tiles directly on the watch. I showed you how to do it on the phone earlier. So on any tile, if you just keep it pressed for two seconds, the screen will zoom out. And now you can remove any tile that you don't want by hitting the minus sign and it will disappear. Uh, or you can even swipe up to remove. If you want to bring something back, hit the plus sign, and I do need to bring YouTube Music back. There it is. Tap on it, and YouTube Music is back. And you can also change the order. So if I wanted timer to be right at the end, so I'll highlight timer, and I'll tap the right arrow and bring it to what position I want. So that is how easy it is to customize the tiles directly on the watch. TickWatch has done a great job with the software. If you want to access the system apps, just press the crown button once, all your apps will appear. So let's go through them. We've got agenda, alarm, calculator, contacts, essential mode settings, find my phone, Google wallet, hand wash timer, maps, 
media controls, messages, Mobvoi privacy, Mobvoi treadmill. So if you've got the Mobvoi treadmill, this this watch will of course work really well with it. You've got one tap measurement and we're going to try that in a bit. It's a really cool feature. You've got phone so you can initiate phone calls. You can find your contacts, tap, start calling them directly on the watch. We've got the Google Play Store so you can download all your favorite apps. You've got your main system settings, Spotify, stopwatch. You've got tick barometer, tick breathe, tick care, tick compass, tick exercise. We've got tick health, tick oxygen, tick pulse, tick sleep, tick zen, timer, time show, torch, weather and YouTube music. All right, so I guess it's time to test out those health sensors. So this is the O2 ring. It's a medical grade sensor that you wear on your thumb and it will monitor your heart rate and your SpO2 giving you accurate results. We're going to compare this medical grade device with the TicWatch Pro 5 and we're going to see how accurate the results are. So first of all, we are going to test the heart rate. So it's currently measuring on the watch. The O2 ring is already giving us at 93 beats per minute, you can see 87, 84, 82, 86, 82 against 84, 83 and 82. Wow. So it looks like we are pretty much neck and neck and now that has stopped. So very accurate heart rate sensor, guys. Um, very close to medical grade standards. All right, so now we're going to compare the blood oxygen results. The O2 ring is giving us 96% blood oxygen. So we're just waiting for the tick watch to give us its result. So here are the results, 97% versus 96%. I would say that's pretty accurate. Now, another feature I wanted to show you guys is one tap measurement. So it will measure all four vitals at the same time. So heart rate, blood oxygen, respiratory rate, and your stress levels. So you can see heart rate result has appeared. Blood oxygen is there as well and it says normal. We're waiting for the respiratory rate and stress levels. And here are your complete results, heart rate, blood oxygen, respiratory rate, and stress. One tap measurement, really cool feature. So that brings us to our top smartwatch chart for 2023, showing you the latest smartwatches and seeing how they compare with each other. And at the moment, it seems like the TicWatch Pro 5 is the best smartwatch money can buy. And therefore, I have ranked it at position one. It's actually cheaper than the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, yet it has a more powerful chipset more RAM, more storage, more advanced screen technology, better battery life, faster charging, and lots more. So the TicWatch Pro 5 is the new number one smartwatch that you can buy, maybe until GW6 launches to challenge this watch. But until then, this is the new king. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and you can read them at your leisure and completely free of charge. So there you have it guys, that was the new TicWatch Pro 5. I really like what Mobboy has done this time. They took their time before launching the new Pro 5 and they actually spent all that time improving things. New chipset, the new secondary ULP display with all the health tiles and the health metrics included, upgraded RAM, upgraded storage, upgraded higher capacity battery. We've got faster charging, better watch faces with customization options for your complications. Wear OS by Google version 3.5 with again, lots of customization options and Play Store to download all your favorite apps and watch faces. You've got an impressive build quality. It's rugged, military standard durable, five ATM water resistance. We have a new scrollable crown with haptics. This supports Bluetooth calls with the ability to reply to notifications, social media, emails, and lots more. Impressive premium look and feel, very comfy on the wrist, and it does not feel too big. And just for context, again, I've got a wrist circumference of seven inches and the watch feels great on my wrist. It's very light at 63 grams and I wear it 24 seven with no issues at all. The straps are also very comfy. We've got silicone straps with metal buckle and it feels very nice against the wrist. So it looks like nearly all the boxes have been ticked by Mobvoi. Um, they've no doubt been very busy behind the scenes with the TicWatch Pro 5. And I can say their hard work has paid off. Absolutely amazing smartwatch experience. This has to be the best I've tested so far. So to sum up the TicWatch Pro 5 in one word, all I can say is, impressive. Now with all that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Don't forget to like and sub. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.